In the yellow corner, Lexus LFA. It's a 4.8 liter V10 with no turbos, so it makes 50 horsepower less, but it's still a really fast car. They're both yeah. three-wheel drive, but the McLaren is a mid-engine, so it's got more weight on the back. So we're going to race those forward. two cars. When Whoever wins reporter, gets to race the next car. There's a car back there that, they're, that the winner gets to race. takes the lead. Whoa. Now it's okay if they're spinning because they planned this out. And the McLaren wins. Let's go back and take another look at that launch in slow motion. Off the line you'll see both cars get moving with just the tiniest bit of wheel spin, but the McLaren's rear weight bias helps it jump ahead. That's exactly where it stays for the rest of the race. The Lexus V10 screaming like a Formula One car, but uh, screaming's not enough, and the McLaren gets to the quarter mile. Nowhere faster. near that car. Sooner, and you're oh. an hour faster. Oh. All right. Lexus trying to throw it to the bunch, but that's all right because it sounds the best. Anyway, round two, we have the McLaren up against a V12 powered Lamborghini at Ecuador. This is a six Lamborghini is white. The gray car, I think, more is the... The Lambo has all-wheel drive, which means it goes <clears throat> right off the line. Whether that's enough to keep it ahead over the quarter mile, let's find out. Maybe just because they're speeding. Whoa. And... Wait, what? Over so soon? All right, let's watch it again in slow mo. The McLaren gets a jump off the line because, well, I was driving and I'm cheap, but <laughs> cheating is no match for four-wheel drive launch. And well. the Inventadors is the most violent nah. in the entire business. He's Thanks driving so weird. Like, manual, the shifts are just as painful. If you ever want to make your passenger cry, you put them in a Lambo. Luckily, it's all over in just 10.6 seconds with uh, the Lambo coming through the quarter mile mark at 133.9 miles an hour. And he wins. But does that mean the Lamborghini Aventador is the fastest carbon fiber supercar in the world? Hmm, no. Just means it's the fastest they've shown. Bugatti. Bugatti. Maybe it's a Bugatti. Looks like a face. Oh, I agree. That looks pretty good. Yeah, it car's hot. And of course, it's the Bugatti Veyron, which is the undisputed. And they keep fast. going. The Grand Sport right over there has 16 cylinders compared to only 12. And it has 16? four turbochargers breathing four air into those 16 cylinders, making 1,001 horsepower or 987 North American horsepower or 6.8 trillion somebody else's horsepower. It doesn't matter. Hmm. It's really fast. And so we figured we should probably line them up to find out if the Veyron is still faster than the Lamborghini or if the Lamborghini is faster than its evil French twin sister. I can't believe that. Uh, Bugatti is a girl. The, uh, Lamborghini versus Lamborghini. Bugatti. The Lamborghini kind of reminds me of the... Well, I mean, it, probably, it doesn't in reality look anything like it, but the back view reminds me a little bit of the Valorian. I want the Bugatti to win because I saw a Chinese thing on there, and I like that. They had Chinese, right? Oh, French. Where's the Lamborghini going? Wow. Can't believe the Lamborghini. It's so hot. I don't know why. Yeah, it looks so cool. Oh my god, he was never helping out or anything. Oh my god. He's just driving there. Who knows how injured these people could get? Wow. Well. Wow. Whoa. Oh, come on, you didn't really think that the Veyron was going to lose a drag race to its younger sister. I mean, remember, these two cars 
come from the same family, from the Volkswagen Group. And of course they do. Let's be honest. What happens after the quarter mile mark is what really counts. The Veyron keeps going to 253 oh, miles an hour. What? The Lamborghini's 217. The Bugatti is still speed king, but I think the important takeaway here is that is one fast Lamborghini. I watch another it car. It's 250 fucking miles an hour. It's crazy, right? All right, can we finish our show that we were watching? Sure. Oh. Logan's liking the cars. Uh huh. Let's keep watching them. I'm only gonna have so long though before it's. You're done anyway. I'm not yet. I was still watching, but. G. Epic D. What's all that black stuff for? I'm like, who cares about this? Who wants to watch this anymore? Car. Alright. It's pretty late. It's um nine thirty seven and oh That's a desert. That's a desert, not a sand dune. Crazy. Well, it's like another desert, I think. With like a bunch of wood. I didn't want to like lie down or else. He's riding in a car down there? That does not look safe. He's going to drive on sand on a Sunday. Dude, he's going to die. Whoa. Yeah, I'm pumping right. I like the music. At the end. Sweet ride. You're probably going to like and subscribe this video. Well, mostly like this video because this effort cost an automobile. These are through the Michigan Sand Lake Sun Dunes. I've been to Silver Lake for camping, and I have gone onto a boat so we can um, row onto the sun dunes, and I climbed up, but I refused to slide down. I just walked out because it seems so good. Guys, that'll be it for this episode. Like and subscribe.